Did you no, my pen? No, I'm not. You can keep on. I'm just gonna keep chandling you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Pot Stilled Life. I'm Ryan. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm AJ. Though. And we're back. <laughs> We have 1792 single barrel versus some Kirkland signature 1792 single barrel. Yeah. I'm gonna review these to see if there's any similarities. I'm really interested to see kind of how they stack up because we know we like the uh, 1792 single barrel. We have tried the Kirkland Signature single barrel. <clears throat> it's coming out of Barton 1792 Distillery. We know we tried the Bald and Bond versus Bald and Bond. It was definitely not the same juice. Yeah. We know this is not the same juice going into it because Kirkland single barrel is coming at 120 proof. Tried it. It, it wasn't. It didn't feel like 120 proof. No. The 1792 single barrel is coming in at 98. 8.6 proof. So it's not necessarily an even comparison proof wise. We're not going to blind this tonight. We're just going to go because I really have no preconceived notion about it. I like them both. Yeah. I know. It's been a while since I've tried the 1792 single barrel. Uh, it's, it's been, been a few weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's been several weeks since I've tried it. I just remember I like it. I know that I like the, the new Kirkland Sancho single barrel. Single barrel. Let's just go in and let's see what, what kind of difference is that. I mean, this is coming in 40 to 50 bucks. 10 to 20 dollar difference in the bottles here. Right off the bat, Signature or the uh, Kirkland is just slightly darker. It's a little know. darker, but it looks a little bit thinner yeah, it to does. me. The, uh, the 1792 oh, single gosh, barrel. You got so much in that. It was a mistake. I promise. It does look thin because you can see that right off the bat in the uh, yeah with the start of the legs. Yeah, the the 1792 has a nice set of legs on it. It, it yeah. looks like it's got better viscosity to it, just oilier. Which I remember on the on the Kirkland when I tried it, I thought the first sip seemed just a little thin. It, it was sweet, had a good flavor, but the mouth feel was a little thin. Yeah. Boy, the peanuts really come out in that 1792. They do. It's just that nice, but it's a nice sweetness. To me, it's like a peanut brittle. If you smell the Kirkland and then go back to the 1792, those peanuts jump Ooh, into your the nose. the caramel jumps out on that 1792. Yeah, yeah. Now, now smell that. Oh yeah, dusty peanut. Yeah. It's, it's really, like a Texas Roadhouse floor. It's really right in your face about it. In a good way, though. Dude, I'm telling you, that <laughs> that Kirkland will burn your nose yeah. if you breathe in uh, too much. Yeah, I mean, I always thought that the 1792 had a very sweet uh, note to it. But between the two, this this is much dustier. Yeah. This is like the caramel. And now I'm getting, I'm picking up an apple on the nose that I don't think I picked up the first time I tried the Kirkland you're signature. Smelling this. You balance them back and forth. Yeah, this is very peanutty. It, in all honesty, it reminds me a lot of old tub note on the nose. Yeah, this just smells like I'm making peanut butter fudge at Christmas. That's yes, like. that, yes, you're right. It is like a peanut butter fudge. Because it still has a sweetness to it. Yeah. But yeah, this is like all like apple and car. It's like a caramel apple from yeah. the fair. Which I mean, one are we, uh, which one are we throwing back first? I'm going to go to the 1792 because it's, it's a lower proof. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. You can taste the peanuts too. It goes down smooth. Definitely got that, pr it has that peanut note. It's sweet, caramel, brown sugar, a little dusty. Almost like fresh cut hay. There's just, just that slight note like mid palate. Yeah. Am I right when I say that like smell is what brings you back, puts you in that nostalgic feel the most? Mm -hmm. Yes. So just the smell and the taste alone, not only does it remind me of being inside that log cabin, and but it's that log cabin during a certain time. So yeah. it's like during Christmas and having fun with your family. Yeah. cooking and stuff. This is exactly what that reminds me of. Yeah, it's so good. There's no real spiky notes to it. It just kind of rolls through. There's a nice like mid palate. You start to get a little bit of that oakiness coming in. Yeah. Slightly drying. It's got a good mouthfeel. It's not a, uh, it's not coating, but it's not thin and brittle either. Yeah. It's just kind of a nice medium average. Right. It's got a nice finish to it too, by the way. Let's get that uh, 120. I mean, you just can't get away from that, that sugar, that sweetness right off the bat. Oh, that's super sweet. It's like drinking candy that's on fire. Yeah, that is so sweet. That's candy apple all day long. What are they? Man. Interlaced with honey, caramel, dried fruit notes. So they weren't lying about the honey and the caramel. That is all about it. I am definitely picking up that honey note. All right, so you're talking about Christmas. I'm picking up dried fruit. It's like a um, the fruit cake, the dried fruit in a fruit cake, not the fruit cake itself. But the dried fruit. I'm gonna up when you said fruitcake. <laughs> I hate fruitcake. Is it just me or I'm picking up like a tip of my tongue, almost an acidic note. I can't pick that up. Of course, I salivate a lot too. I don't know yeah. if it's already washed it away or whatnot, but. Oh, no, that's weird. That could be just a chapstick. Probably is. Probably is. I'm, I had some chapstick on earlier. That's probably yeah. what it is. I yeah. think I like that 1792 better. Like, this is fine. Don't get me wrong, this this is fine. 
I like the sweetness, um, I like the burn, but I like not only the taste, but how it uh, reminds me of certain times and, and certain things. Yeah. And that's I kind of get that out of a lot of uh, bourbons and whiskeys. It's like, not only do, they, do I get a, a nice taste out of it, but it, it kind of takes me somewhere. Yeah, and I think this is, now, <clears throat> there again, there's a proof difference, and I would be interested to see, take a full proof 1792 that's been like a, a store barrel pick yeah, uh, and put it up against it because you're going to get closer proof points. But I would agree with you. I, I'm more into the 1792 single barrel. There's just more flavor there. It's smooth, it's smoother, but not not in the, the alcohol burn because I'm a bit of a proof. I, mean, I like higher proofs, typically because it, get, it brings more flavor. This isn't bringing the flavor with the proof. To me, this, this is good, but it's kind of one note. So this one's great, but I would rather buy this one. If I had to choose one, I'm going with the 1792. This is definitely a value player. I mean, yeah. it's $29.99 for a liter yeah. versus 40 to 50 bucks for 7 750. 50. It's definitely more bang for your buck on a just a, a pure volume basis. For my money, if I'm gonna sit down and just sip and enjoy, I'm gonna go the 1792 single barrel. I'm excited to put this in some blinds though. I am too. The, I, I see feel like we're, we we should be able to kind of tell what this is though, because that that 120 is gonna. I think it's gonna punch through. Yeah, but uh, we should have been able to tell what uh, Eagle Rare was in that other blind. Yeah, well, um, I almost did. Shut up. No, you didn't. We both. <laughs> <laughs> on the Eagle Rare, we both thought yeah. the same one. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, I'll give, I'll give you that zero and four. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah, the Eagle Rare, we both suck on, but <clears throat> handcuffs. So you right. got one. You got one. Yeah, I got one. He won't let this die. He's gonna hang on to it. I'm number one. Ever. And cheers. <laughs>